Welcome to V Top 10 and today's video we're ranking the 10 Mike the Body Snatcher McCallum Best Knockouts. Number 10. Mike McCallum vs Nicky Walker. On October 10, 1991, McCallum beat Nicky Walker by corner stoppage in round 5 of 10 at Bally's Las Vegas, Paradise, Nevada, U.S. In the, uh, the arena here, his trainer, and he said, he said, totally consistent. Sometimes you don't think they're spectacular, but when you're done, boy, they've gotten the job. Julian Jackson, how many losses has he had? That's it. Interesting first round, feeling out round in large part for both men, but clearly in the corner of McCallum. But then he fights a guy who was a quality fighter. Not chopped liver. No, and he just nailed Walker with a good left hook, and he hurt Walker with that punch. A new lace on life, but right now McCallum trying to take it away. Good clean combinations by McCallum with the left hand from Walker, but McCallum clearly getting the better of this. He might have hurt. This is the fifth round of a scheduled 10 round Valley. It's really a clinic so far. Uppercut again, left hand behind it, right hand over the top, right to the body, right to the head, right to the head, left to the head, right to the top of the head, triple right hand. Walker comes back. What did I say about Livingstone Gravel? What about what Walker is enduring here? Unbelievable. He is just taking the store here from Mike McCallum. Toby Gibson taking a close look here. Don't think he'll let this go too far. But make a case for stopping it pretty soon. Even though Walker is punching back. So yeah. My goodness. It's been a long time on this show that we've seen a boxer endure what Walker has endured and stay upright. And I'll tell you what. Himself out a little bit. We'll be back. We are back, and this fight is over, folks. Number nine, Mike McCallum versus Frank Minton. On February 19, 1991, McCallum beat Frank Minton by TKO at 121 in round four of ten at Kemper Arena, Kansas City, Missouri, U.S. Here in round number one, boy, how quick we leave. we lose that game plan. It's Henry Milligan, a fourth round knockout. He has faced the likes of James Kitchen, put up a tough fight, losing uh, in the ninth round. Go and get it, but he is more interested tonight in getting work. He said he wanted to go him out in the second round as junior middleweights, and Michael Dunn, of course, the IBF champ. McCallum, who has had a long line of uh, trainers and men. He fought for the NABF uh, title, losing to Anthony Willis. He Minton being very honest about his career at the age of 32. McCallum, although in that first round, he was trying little, little things. Trace and McCallum are certainly questioned about their age. Keep up now. The uppercut. McCallum does say, I've taken good care of my body. I've, you know, trained for every match. Look at him go down. On McCallum uh, in control of this fight, getting the workout that he desired. And he's staying low, see him drop his, lower his center of gravity, he's bending his knees, he's working the shots that he wanted to. Now between rounds, this is a real pro. Eddie Fudge, man. Here's a point where the referee could step in and stop the fight. Right here, McCallum, unless he wants to work, he can just throw everything he's got and the referee will stop it. There's Minton fighting back finally. But staying in the corner. Well, if he's not punching back, the referee will stop it. McCallum 38 and 1 with 31 knockouts. But only 12 of those have come in the first three rounds. McCallum generally wearing his opponent down. Well, McCallum is following instructions to the T. Eddie Fudge said, throw a lot of little shots upstairs to his head, look at this, and then dig the body. And now the referee, Danny Campbell, is uh, calling for the doctor. And that is why. Those little shots to the head adding up against Frankie Minton. You bet little shots like that, a preponderance of punches do add up. They cause more damage many times than that one knockout blow. The knockout blow, you're out, you don't get hit anymore. Doctor suggests to stop it. Doctor. Number 8. Mike McCallum versus Julian Jackson. On August 23, 1986, Defending WBA super welterweight title McCallum beat Julian Jackson by TKO at 203 in round 2 of 15.
Number 7. Mike McCallum vs. Carl Jones. On February 25, 1995, defending WBC light heavyweight title McCallum beat Carl Jones by TKO at 117 in round 7 of 12. Yeah, the, the back row felt that one, didn't they? You heard the hoos and ahs on that right hand went in the start, the start of this now. Dan still while I hit you, McCallum. Look at this. But he won't have it, Jones. He's, he's only three pounds heavier, McCallum. Oh, yeah. Oh, there goes that left hook, reminiscent, as I say, the one that he knocked out Don Curry with, the former welterweight champion, at Hammersmith in London. Oh, he's got time to do it now, early in the round, he's, he's caught this guy now. He's... Style suits him, he's just a little bit too hot for him, but the style suits him and he can get himself into the fight. These are good shots again from McCallum. The bride in the super middleweights. Yeah, it might dish them out a little bit better. I mean, some of these right hands doing everything is happening in here. Look at that. Twi he, he doesn't seem to have dented the fellow's confidence at all. A good shot. The crowd can see those from the back of the hall. Obviously not as close as you came. Yeah, that, this time, Jim, I really think he, he could do it. Uh, yes, the referee's in. I thought he would. And they, they, the American won't like that. Number 6. Mike McCallum vs. David Braxton. On July 28, 1985, defending WBA Super Welterweight title McCallum beat David Braxton by TKO at 226 in round 8 of 15. Coming up on 30 seconds remaining. Left hook delivered. When the chance comes, he lands a good, devastating right hand. He just did again. Three hard body shots. Mike McCallum vs. Milton McCrory. On April 19, 1987, defending WBA Super Welterweight title McCallum beat Milton McCrory by TKO at 2.20 in round 10 of 15. Oh, left hook, and Milton is hurt. Two good left hooks by McCallum. Milton McCrory watches distance. Again the left hook. You know, Donald Curry ain't built the WBA World Junior Middleweight Championship fight, and it begins with another solid left hook inside by Mike McCallum. I'd be satisfied in that McCallum really to drain Milt. He's doing just enough, maybe, but if he was doing more body punching and McCallum a numb get low, bringing right hand and a left hook behind it. Another winning right hand. Mike. Milton's got Take trouble. Out, that was a terrible shape. Could be a fight stopper. Well, Mike McCallum wanted a big victory. Mike McCallum's soul as a fighter, but with the blood streaming from McCory's eye, he went back to the body. To get back to the corner to let Ralph Citro work on. Oh, Milt McCory was, was dead in his feet. If McCallum can put anything together here, he'll put him down. Cortez watching closely. will be taking a station break at the end of this stanza. McCallum going in once again.
once again. Milton just pushing his punches now, nothing on him. Suddenly forgetting the move. Joe Cortez looking closely. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Luduma screaming, stop it, trying to put the idea in Joe Cortez's mind. But McCrory's still fighting back, and as long as he throws punches, Cortez melt this down. That cut is terrible. Number 4. Mike McCallum vs. Randall Yonker. On March 4, 1994, McCallum beat Randall Yonker by TKO at 2.55 in round 5 of 12 and won vacant interim WBC light heavyweight title. Here's a right hand. To go to the body relentlessly, thus the nickname, body snatcher, and he showed it. I can't understand Yonker's strategy other than maybe trying to get Mike to punch himself out a little bit early and hope that that age will really kick in somewhere soon, but he's taking a lot of punishment. Yonker says, you're not hurting me. Those, those shots hurt when Mike McCallum punches to the body. Yonker told me yesterday when we interviewed him, he said a lot of people have compared him to me. He's working the jab, looking to set up the right, and there it is, McCallum. And he... Well, that's what Eddie Funk says. He's two rounds blue. Oh, nice right hand by McCallum. Oh, that's nice right hand by McCallum. He followed it up with a vicious right hand. Now an uppercut by McCallum. We enter round five, scheduled for 12. Randall Yonka. Oh, what a left reply by McCallum. And McCallum all over Yonker. Swarming. Brooklyn, Kingston, Jamaica. He's been all is wearing out <laughs> younger. Well, I'll tell you, age is uh, being tested here, but it's a young age, it's crazy. And by the looks of your scorecard, it's been all McCallum. Yeah, it has been all McCallum. And look at it. Oh, oh, there we go. Mike McCallum trying to finish Yonker up here in round five. Less than a minute to go. Amazing courage by Yonker. He won. Number 3. Mike McCallum vs. Sed Skuma. On October 25, 1986, defending WBA Super Welterweight title McCallum beat Sed Skuma by TKO at 2.25 in round 9 of 15. Number 2. Mike McCallum vs. Michael Watson. On April 14, 1990, defending WBA middleweight title McCallum beat Michael Watson by knockout at 2.22 in round 11 of 12. It's not as tight as I would land him though, a little, little a complaint from McCallum about Watson. Lads legs out a bit if he can, but uh, he might have to take 
fair amount of uh, stick to do. But there's a bit more confidence than he's what now. But to these shots are still vicious coming back towards him. WBA Championship. Well, the crowd rising to that, but... Oh, he's just holding his head a bit high there, Watson. He, and he's covering up well. Now, that's what he did with Nigel Bember. Well, word from uh, Watson's corner. Nicky Duffy saying uh, Michael's fine. And the commentators always sticking their chin out, which is a bit dangerous, but he certainly takes a good whack, Watson, doesn't he? Calling him on there, it's a bit saucy, Watson. What do you know about that? That's confidence, isn't it? Oh, I like 15 rounds, but uh, I don't think I would have liked 15 rounds of this. See, straight away, your jaw feels different, Reg. No, and he's got Watson in trouble here now. What a champion this is. He's, he's really found the stamina that we didn't realise that he'd had. Thought maybe 33, well, it's going a bit, but not here. He's got... And he's just sagging a bit there, isn't he, Jim Watson? Yes, flaring into the ropes. And that was sheer exhaustion as well as those final punches came in. And he's not going to be able to get up from that. It's two minutes and 15 into the round. And the seconds are getting into the ring. They know that it's going to be... A, well, a Number one. Mike McCallum versus Donald Curry. On July 18, 1987, defending WBA Super Welterweight title McCallum beat Donald Curry by knockout at 114 in round 5 of 15. Hammered Julian Jackson to the body before putting him away in the second round. Short left hand by McCallum. To get the left hook off. They're not concentrating so much on the right hand. It's been with the right hand there by McCallum. But it's been the left hook. Both have been effective. And a combination by McCallum. Bad mistake on Donald Curry. Donald Curry. Yeah, that seems to be getting a little bit worse too. We saw it between rounds last time, like, between the last two rounds. There was a good right hand by McCallum. That would definitely turn the tables around. I'll tell you, he's not giving angles at all. He's directly in front of Donald. and right. Here we have the shot of him. You see, he's not going straight back. Left, right, that hook. Beautiful shot. Took a step to his left, just exactly as you were saying a moment ago. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.